Hey y'all! It's entry number 76 of this off-season series where we discuss a different player's fantasy value each day as a group. We are another day closer to the start of the 2022 NFL season. Each day we'll drop a name, go through some positives and some concerns of their fantasy profile, and then I'll give my personal opinion at the end. Today's discussion will be on Jalen Hurts, quarterback, Philadelphia Eagles. We'll start with the positives with Jalen Hurts' fantasy profile, rushing upside. The big draw of Jalen Hurts' fantasy upside is obviously his rushing upside. During the 2021 season, Jalen Hurts carried the ball 139 times for 784 rushing yards and 10 rushing touchdowns. In addition, during the 2020 season, Jalen Hurts had 354 rushing yards and 3 rushing touchdowns on 63 carries with 46 carries, 11.5 per game, for 272 rushing yards, 68 per game, and 3 rushing touchdowns, 0.75 per game, in his 4 starts at the end of the season. Not many quarterbacks have this kind of rushing upside. It's pretty much just Lamar Jackson, Kyler Murray, Josh Allen, and maybe Trey Lance that have similar rushing upside, which makes Hurts a more intriguing player to invest in for 2022 fantasy leagues. The next thing I really like about Jalen Hurts' fantasy profile is that he's got a great offensive line. The Philadelphia Eagles offensive line has been one of the best in the NFL over the past few years. At the end of the 2021 season, the offensive line ranked as the fourth best in the NFL according to Pro Football Focus. They are projected to have four of the five same starters from last year's line in 2022 with the only change being made at right guard. Now, going into the 2022 season, the team is projected to have the best offensive line in the league according to Pro Football Focus. Having a great offensive line should be beneficial for Jalen Hurts in 2022. The last thing I really like about Jalen Hurts' fantasy profile for 2022 is his improved weapons. The Philadelphia Eagles made a move to acquire star wideout A.J. Brown this offseason. Brown has been ridiculously efficient over the course of his career. He's the only wide receiver in the NFL who's finished with at least 2.65 yards per route run in each of the last three seasons, with 3.46 yards per route run in 2019, 2.76 yards per route run in 2020, and 2.72 yards per route run in 2021 according to Player Profiler. Adding a weapon like this to the Eagles pass catchers that already included Devonta Smith and Dallas Goddard should be great for Jalen Hurts' fantasy value. Moving on to some of the concerns with Jalen Hurts' fantasy profile. Below average passer. Jalen Hurts left something to be desired as a passer during the 2021 season as he completed just 265 passes on 432 passing attempts for 3,144 passing yards and 16 passing touchdowns to 9 interceptions in 15 games. On a per game basis, This is just 17.7 completions on 28.8 passing attempts for 209.6 passing yards and 1.07 passing touchdowns per game. If he doesn't improve his passing ability, it will be harder for him to take the next step as a fantasy player and challenge for the QB1 overall spot. The next concern I have with Jalen Hurts' fantasy profile is, is his job as secure as some other top fantasy quarterbacks? This is a lesser concern, but still worth mentioning. Hertz isn't established yet and doesn't have as many factors to fall back on that usually give a young quarterback a longer leash when they struggle. He wasn't a first round pick and he was drafted before his current coaching staff got there. Given Gardner Minshew is a very capable backup quarterback himself. If Jalen Hurts struggles as a passer again and the Eagles have a disappointing record mid to late season, the team could make a change in the late season stretch. The other top fantasy quarterbacks have zero chance of getting benched when they're healthy, whereas Hertz has at least some, even if it's something like a 5-10% to chance for this year specifically, which makes him slightly more risky to invest in. The last concern I have with Jalen Hertz's fantasy profile is his fumbles. Jalen Hertz has fumbled 9 times in each of the past 2 years, or 18 times in 30 games. Most league scoring settings have a minus two or so penalty for fumbles, and it's likely that Hertz has a few more fumbles than your average starting quarterback. Some additional thoughts on Jalen Hertz's fantasy profile. 
In 2021, Jalen Hurts finished as the QB9 with 321.2 total fantasy points and 21.4 fantasy points per game according to Fantasy Pros. During the 2021 season, Jalen Hurts had 1 out of 15 games with 0 to 10 fantasy points, 2 out of 15 games with 10 to 15 fantasy points, 3 out of 15 games with 15 to 20 fantasy points, 4 out of 15 games with 20 to 24.9 fantasy points, 4 out of 15 games with 25 to 30 fantasy points, and 1 out of 15 games with over 30 fantasy points according to fantasy data. Personal Opinion Jalen Hurts is going off the board as QB7, about pick 72 overall, on ESPN, and QB8, about pick 65 overall, on Yahoo. I think he's appropriately valued around this range. I'm between having him as the QB6 or the QB7. He could certainly challenge to be the QB1 with his rushing upside and supporting cast, but he's got a few more question marks than the quarterbacks that generally go ahead of him. For each of these entries, we will highlight a charitable cause or organization. In 2020, for his My Cause My Cleats, Jalen Hurts supported Alex's Lemonade Stand, which is a foundation for childhood cancer. Here's a link to that organization below. And that's it for today's entry. If you enjoyed this entry, be sure to like and subscribe.